This is Clear Mountain's domain. Yeah, then after, after a few months, I was an assistant on a session with a band called Kuluma Gang. And the engineer, it was the same, actually, engineer that was doing the Duke Ellington session. And he was, his main thing was either big jazz records like that or, or jingles or movie scores. And, and even the jazz records, I don't think he was that into. He was more into the jingles, you know, get them in, get them out, put a bunch of reverb on it and impress them and get them out the door, you know. Wow. And uh, he was very good at that. But he didn't like working at night because this was a night session. And uh, I just didn't think he really liked working on records. And I think that it, people were too slow for him. So he said, look, well, you just do the session. And I was like, no what? Way. And I had never sat down in front of the board before. I only watched other people do it. I was like, really? You sure? Goes, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Go, okay. <laughs> and so he's, I sat down, and he's sitting there reading the paper. And... So it's Ron Bell from Cool and the Gang, who's one of the nicest guys. You know, instead of this guy who's paying the card rate, I'm yeah. sure, saying, wait, what's who's, why are you giving me this kid? He said, yeah, yeah, we can do this. He said, okay, the first thing we got to do, we got to record some synthesizers. Luckily, synthesizers are very easy to record. So, <laughs> all right, fine. I plugged them in, did that. He goes, all right, it was 16 track. So we were running out of track. So, we, oh, look, let's bounce. He recorded like four or five synthesizers. Let's do a mix and bounce them down to another track. Okay, how do you do that? And I'm looking at the, at the engineer. Go, he goes, you'll figure it out. So I'm going, okay, let me think. It's if I push this button and I assign them all to the same bus, and then that's going back to tape, whatever. And I figured it out, and I did it. And... And they said, okay, let's, let's mix that song now. Okay, now I'm actually doing a mix for a what? record. <laughs> yeah. So after like two months. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, and I did the thing, and they were happy. I think I mixed two songs that night. And then they came back six months later to, to start, a, to start a new, the next album. And the engineer in that session, I was the assistant again. The engineer was Tony Bon Jovi, and... Yes, it's John Bon Jovi's cousin, actually. Wow. And um, I never heard of John Bon Jovi back then in 1973. So I set the session up. It's a full rhythm section, the whole band. And uh, there's Where's Tony? Hasn't shown up. And so the band's out there rehearsing the song and running it down. So I'm thinking, well, somebody's got to do this. So I just sat down and started. Rec it's the first time I'd ever done a full rhythm section recording. And um, Ron comes in, listens. We do a take, listens back. He goes, "Yeah, man, that sounds." He soloed everything. He goes, yeah, "That sounds fine." That's incredible. Yeah, and then we recorded uh, two hits. Actually, it was uh, "Funky Stuff," which got to like forty-five or something, and "Hollywood Swingin'," which ended up at nine, number six. Wow! I was really lucky. It's like the stars 